right, good morning. How's it going, everybody? Today is going awesome. I'm gonna show you really quick why it's going awesome. Look at this. Oh, dang, that's cool. That I got today, 20th anniversary snow speeder Lego, which is cool. Unfortunately, I had on my wall right here, right there. Um, this bad boy was up there, but it fell off and it broke. I have to kind of fix it. Let's stick it up and find a better solution for the old Legos. If you know of how to mount Legos to the wall and you have a really good solution for that, let me know. Today is ads like always, campaigns like always. Um, have two proposals going out today um, that I'm excited about. I think that's going to be really awesome. And then I'm um, working more on this uh, SaaS startup project. So that is going to be great. I'm gonna give Barrett a call and we're gonna talk about it, a few things. I think um, I will share with you just a, a few things that I'm working on um, and getting completed here, specifically the features pages, um, the about pages and stuff like that. So um, that's gonna be pretty solid, I think. So right now, you know, I'm just gonna get started and um, Let's let's talk to Barrett. See what's up in his world. Okay. So my question for you, Brohan, is: Do you think you want, or do you think we should have a logo that is um, like a symbol, or do you think we should have a logo that's font, or do you not care? I think both, Brennan. Okay. You think we should have any specific brand colors that are? Anything but blue. Anything but blue? Where the heck did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So if we ever do have a mobile app, you know, everyone's got blue. I mean, just look at that. You got Facebook, LinkedIn, Vimeo, Twitter, all blue. All blue. And that's just how it is. I think like 70% of app icons are blue. Okay. Cool beans. Okay, that's good to know. Just so it stands out more. Maybe red or orange or red and orange. For sure. Okay. I think red, especially because it's YouTube related, I think we'll have a lot of people from YouTube. Um, so it'll have that kind of recognition. Um, okay. Cool. And so I gotta think my, my friend Corby, um, he's made a logo Sorry. beginning, but Cor I don't really care for it. Corbin Dallas, Brandon? No, Corby Demise. Okay. And so I don't really care for these things. No. Too no, it's like weird society stuff with handshakes, man. Yep. No. Okay. Cool beans. How's how is it coming on your end? First been busy this week. I get ya. I got a question for you. Parent, if I was trying to build this app and I was not I didn't have a twin brother who was an app builder, how would you go about finding an app builder? Uh, well, I'd, I'd probably post it on Upwork or something like that, depending on my, my budget, man. Depends on your budget. If you got, if you got no budget, go for your third world country guys. If you got some budget, go for a local guy kind of thing, depending on where you're at. U.S. guy. If you got big budget, go for agency. How, how are you able to tell if there is a good developer or not a good developer. You can't. It's a roll of dice, man. Unless you're a developer. So and just referrals probably reviews. then? Referrals. And reviews too. So like with Upwork, you can see reviews and stuff, but still you don't know how good the reviews are because you don't know if these people are technical. So you don't really know what your code quality, code base is going to be, you know? It's crazy. It's crazy. crapshoot, man. We had, I mean, when we hired the guys over in Ukraine for the casino stuff, it was hard to find good freelancers when I'm a developer and doing code reviews and stuff. And same thing goes with, with this project I'm working on right now, doing management for the Android team because I'm not that familiar. And so I think they're doing a good job, but I'm not 100% sure. Crazy. So it's hard, man. Crazy opportunity, Brennan. Opportunity, huh? That's I'll a good question. Go to Icons 8. I'm just going to do an icon search for uh, 
opportunity. A goal is showing like a target with the bullseye. Hey, that's kind of cool. Target bullseye. You can't do target though, because target app, target brand. No, like, like uh, let me share this with you here. I can, can share this. I think only one person can share at a time. Yeah. Okay, let me stop sharing here. One, let's share that. Maybe, yeah, like that, that's cool. With like a gear around the outside of it, that'd be kind of cool. Cause like it's a tool. I kind of like just like that one though too. Oh, that's cool, yeah. What if we did that one strict. You know, rip, but not blue. But not blue. How's it going, sunny boy? How are you doing? Say hi to the camera. Working away today. It's your nap time. Just a second, Peter Pan, buddy. Yeah, look at you. That was a good call with Barrett. I'm going to sell some software really quick. Bennett's going to take a nap. Madeline's going to take a nap. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. What about it? I love this guy right here. He is amazing. All right. Love you, buddy. Okay, so I'm just unboxing Oops. a new tripod because I lost. I can't believe I lost this piece. I will find it and then I'll have two tripods. And then maybe I'll set. Yeah, that'd probably work out. This thing is pretty flimsy. So. Anyways, that sales call went good. Um, that's for the Wi-Fi software that I do. Wow, this is pretty cheap. Um, and that went good. I'm going to go get something caffeinated to drink here. Um, probably just some Stoke coffee, my favorite coffee of all time. I want to get sponsored by Stoke coffee at some point. That would be amazing. Yeah, this is the crappiest tripod I've ever encountered. Anyways, the software call went really good. Um, I think that selling software is like one of the funnest things ever. I think that software as a service is like potentially the truest form of passive income other than like customer service and technical support, but you can outsource that stuff. So that's why I like it a lot. And I think that it's a great business model. Um, so I'm pretty dang excited. I think that uh, we'll probably have a product that's ready to go in the next three weeks. We'll see. I'm going to start making Barrett commit to a time frame so that we can get it going. But I know he's just super busy. So it was pretty interesting just how difficult it is to find good developers. And I'm so glad that Barrett's a developer so that I don't have to worry about. Like, am I hiring somebody good? It's completely out of my skill set. So... Um, just thought that was interesting. Anyways, I'm going to get to recording some videos, but that's going to do it for today's vlog. Um, yeah, so exciting stuff happening. Um, I think tomorrow we're really going to get all of the web pages done. I know I was going to say that today, but um, it did not happen. But I've been writing out the um, messaging and the, the marketing and the before and after grid and everything like that. So it's really simple to take that information and then just put it into the website. So that's cool. Anyways, I got the um, logo stuff off to the my my buddy Corby, and that's it. So see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good one.